what's up guys today is a new day it's monday it's early in the morning it's 9 19 y'all and we're in the car so let's go i am starving y'all i don't know if i want first of all i'm trying to um eat different i'm trying to lose weight after i had a baby i gained so much weight like so much weight. so i'm trying to eat different but i can i can cheat I can cheat this morning. I don't know if I want um, like Chick-fil-A. I'm trying to hold my camera. I don't know if I want like Chick-fil-A. I want Burger King. That's what I want. Burger King has these really good like, what do you call them? They have these really good like breakfast wraps and I like them. So that's what we want y'all. Yes, hi. Can I have a number of seven meal with a sweet tea mixed with lemonade for the drink? All right, anything else for your order? No, ma'am, that's all. It's 518. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm so ready, y'all. Okay, I found my other shades. These are my best friend shades. Best friend, if you watching, I got your shades, girl. Um, I feel like, I'm. first of all, I'm giving so much boob action today. So... My apologies if I'm just bouncing, you know, through the video. <laughs> I don't mean it. I didn't know it was going to be like this, okay? But y'all like my shades. Yeah. I feel like my earring's not big enough, though. And I don't feel like these look right on me because I feel like my face is too round. I feel like big shades look better on, like, narrower faces. Let me know what y'all think. here right now y'all we in a county period <laughs> we in a county though for real though um we not in the city right now in fact i don't even know if i'll be in the city today i should have went that way i definitely should have went that way okay i'll be right back y'all so this will be it y'all it's a nice little community I hope I don't look weird going down here because I feel like everybody outside right now or something. I don't know. Like, nice little community. Ooh, I love this house. That house looks just like my dad's house. I like these. What? Mm, hold up. No, I am gonna go all the way back there. I like these, y'all. Yeah. I don't like houses with like, okay, what is it called? Like, see how they got the panels on the side? I understand, you know, that's part of the foundation. I get that. But I like my house to look like stone in the front, like those. Like that's crazy. I like them. Yeah. I like these two, y'all. You know, I love a townhouse. I love a townhouse and <clears throat> I love a single family home. I love condos. So it's like, I got options. My only thing is, I like townhomes, but I'm not trying to walk up the steps. So I need one with an elevator in there. Like, it's, it's crucial. I need an elevator in my house. I can't, I can't. At this point, I want to live in a ranch or something, like, or like one of those townhomes that's over there. I'm about to show y'all. It don't have to be, you know, a, um, a three, four story townhouse. One of these, one of these are fine. One of those lower level standard townhome. That's fine with me. Or something like this. Well, no, because that's going back to like four story. But y'all get the point, right? Okay. Honestly, y'all, I feel like um, Atlanta, Georgia, they have the best architecture. I don't feel like Maryland has, like all the homes kind of look the same here. I'm sure you guys have noticed by now, but I promise you I'm, I'm in different areas, I promise. But Georgia just has a better 
better options, better variety of homes. You know, the styling of the home is different. It's just so much different, so many different communities you could come across in Atlanta. Whereas here in Baltimore and here in Maryland, it's like, mm, you barely see something different. Like here's some new construction homes. Like these look different. The style is different. I will say that. But you're not gonna get this unless you're, you know, out in another part of Maryland. You rarely see this in the city. So let's go over there. All right. I don't know how to do this. I need to call. I mean, not call. What am I talking about? I need to go this way. Let me just go this way. I think these are apartments. You see what I mean? Like, these are cool. But you're going to have to live out in the county, which is not a problem. Because that's what I want to do anyway. To be honest. But, yeah, you're just not going to have that much variety like you would in Atlanta. Now, I'm not saying no other place um, has this type of styling or the style similar to Atlanta, but I know Atlanta because I live there. I don't know anywhere else. So, you know, you might can find some things in Charlotte or wherever, like, I don't know. I just know Atlanta, when I lived there, I loved it. I had every reason to. Like these are nice. These remind me of Georgia. I've seen so many homes that look like these in Georgia. Like, this is the standard. This is the minimum of what you're going to see in Atlanta. This is what they're already on. This is definitely a community that I wouldn't mind living in because it's definitely, it's in the county, number one. And you just, again, you don't see this type of, Living in this would have somebody thinking like, she don't live in Baltimore. That's the point. <laughs> Nothing against my city, but I love the city. I love the city life and all of that. But when it comes to buying a house, I'm trying to get on this type of time. I'm at a point in my life where I'm trying to walk in my purpose. And I don't know what that is yet. I have a feeling of what it is. I just know that I don't think God wants me to work for an employer anymore. I believe God wants me to be my own employer. So right now, I'm just trying to take it day by day, figure it out. I do have my own businesses that I'm starting. One being a clothing line. Two, YouTube. And three, I have a vending machine business. So I'm trying to definitely manage all of that and figure out what path is my destiny if not all three i'm just trying and i just want my day my life to be my life if you get what i mean i don't mean i wake up and i go shopping and i buy cars and designer bags i mean i want to wake up and feel like maybe today i want to go get my car washed or i want to get my hair done my nails done i don't want to do anything i just don't want to wake up and go to work from nine to five. Like that's not, unless I'm working nine to five for myself. I can't, I, like I'm tired, like it's done. I wanna be able to live my life the way I want to, happily. Doesn't mean that I don't plan on obviously, you know, making money or working or anything like that. I just don't wanna work for someone else. So I'm still trying to figure out what to do, honestly. I'm sure I'll, it's, it's, it's a day to day. It's not something that I'm gonna figure out overnight. I just go with what I feel. And in some instances, that can maybe a bad thing because I can react off of, um, off of emotion and feeling. But my feelings never let me wrong. So they ain't let me wrong this far, okay? I really believe, person, we gotta share the road. Like, what are you doing? No, things will work out for me. I trust God, I'm walking completely in faith on this one. I'm turning around because I wanted to show y'all something. I'm walking completely in faith and I'm trusting God. That's all I can do at the end of the day. Have faith, I pray about it and I take it day by day. I just do what I have to do and God will fulfill the rest for me. And I do things like this for fun. This is really what I enjoy doing. I enjoy coming out here, finding neighborhoods, 
being completely blown away by the beauty in these neighborhoods, the nice homes, the nice cars, the nice landscape, all of that makes me happy, which is why I'm also trying to focus on real estate. I'm Like I said earlier in my other video, I'm studying to get my real estate license and I'm trying to be the number one agent out there, okay? With y'all help. <laughs> Vouch for me, y'all. Vouch for me. Enjoy doing this a lot, which is why I feel like God is spiritually moving me out of past old past and old habits. That's not what I should be doing anymore. I'm learning to listen to God and focus on the situations and the opportunities that he brings to me. Guys, right now I'm behind the wheel of a BMW X3. I'm looking to upgrade my current car, which is a Volkswagen Passat. So I'm looking to get out of that. Not pretty soon, but soon enough i'm just test driving to see you know how things will go i did have a um bmw before so i am kind of familiar with how they drive which is why i like them so much so yeah we're in the bmw x3 this is the bmw x3 Definitely wouldn't want it in black, but this is what they had. It's a nice little mini SUV. It has a panoramic roof and vanilla seats. You know, it's a nice size. It's literally a smaller version of the BMW X5. I'm not gonna do it real quick. It's very spacious. And inside it feels like I'm really big. Like the car, the, the, yeah, the car feels really, really, really big from the inside. Feels like I'm in an X5 or something. Like, I did not mean to slam the door. That door was heavy. You know, I'm really thinking it's time for an upgrade. And um, I have a, a Volkswagen Passat right now. I have three kids. It's spacious enough, but it is time for me to get an SUV. I need a big girl car, you know? I don't want too big. I don't like big trucks. I don't. I like compact cars. If it wasn't for my kids, I would have a compact car. Time for me to, you know, grow up. Get a big girl truck. Them kids could be right in the back getting on each other's nerves. Yep. I can see me now. Y'all stop. Cut it out. <laughs> it has navigation of course bmw is very good on handling and performance the stern wheel gets super tight like <laughs> going if you're speeding you're going to be all right Bang that corner when you bang that left you're going to be all right i'm telling you i sit up good and high it's not too big and of course it seems bigger because i i have a a car i have a sedan of course it seems like it's way bigger than what it really is it's nice it's cute it's cute it's cute i think if anyone like if you have kids more than one and you're like me you, you need an suv or just a bigger car in general but you don't want to do one of those big suvs like a tahoe or anything like that like jeeps jeeps are too big for me and they ride way too rough. I like cars that ride smooth, which is why I like BMW, like Mercedes, Audi, all of them are gonna give you a more of a smoother ride. I'm sure a lot of females like the smoothness. Um, but yeah, like back to the matter at hand. <laughs> if you're looking for just a nice little cute compact, compact um, I wouldn't call this compact, but a smaller SUV, I think the X3 would be the car for you. Also, if you don't want to do luxury, if you want to do, you know, the standard cars out there, that's fine too. I'm just shopping around for cars. I'm not saying I'm going to get a BMW. I just had one before and I'm more familiar with the BMW. How they ride, how they ride, know what to expect. So I'm used to it. However, 
you know there's other nice suvs out there like hyundai i definitely like their suvs and it's for a cheaper price point like that's the way to go but this is essentially what an x3 with m sport package like a normal x3 with mm -hmm. m sport package mm, thank you Am I able to go inside of it? I see, I see it says sold, yeah. This is a new 2022. It's the only one they have and it's currently sold. So. so that was my fun trip to BMW today something different we went out we looked at neighborhoods and i also like bam threw a car in there for y'all i hope y'all enjoyed this video <laughs> i really do i still have an apartment vlog coming for you guys i got you thank you all for watching and see you later bye guys